Ladies and gentlemen, welcome or welcome back to Y Gaming. It's Generation Zero Day. Oh yeah. And today we are carrying on with the New Dawn storyline. And right now we are in the marshlands. What we're going to do is pretty damn simple. We need some key codes to get past the bunker security in the marshlands region. So the bunker there is... It's a little bit of a strange one. I haven't been there in such a long time. I can't remember off the top of my head what it's like. It's not really one of those bunkers that you go to very often. So today's definitely going to be a fun one. I'm excited. It's going to be good. I can't wait to actually uh, get in a bunker that I've not been in a while. It's nice to um, to relive things, you know. Um, that's why, devs that watch this, if any of you do, we need a new game plus. And we need it now. New Game Plus would make Generation Zero an absolute godsend of a game. Just being able to restart and having the ability as well to also turn off some of the newer features in the game would be quite cool. But <clears throat> that is for a different video entirely. Now what we are doing, we have started right to the bottom of the marshlands. We got ANL or ASNL 115 just up the road here, which is a, uh, a little aircraft hangar. It's one of the smaller ones, but they are quite cool, and it's one of the little safe house ones as well. So hopefully there's some more like, loot in there, and obviously um, we've got a little bit of a better spawn point in the in the marshlands, because currently, as it stands, we don't really have a very good one, so we need to work on that. But these guys are... Uh, they're beating me. Oh, nice, we've got barcodes. Perfect, we've got all the barcodes we need. We are going to go check out the uh, FOA4, because it's it's... You can't not check out FO... Ah, nice. Now we've got them all, sorry. If you're in the marshlands, you can't not go to FOA4, right? It's it's the law. You've got to go there. It's the place to be. It's where all the shit kicks off. It's it's where all the fun is had. Oh, oh. Ah. I'm running low on meds, so any machines that I find that have meds on will make me a happy, happy bunny. Hopefully, though, there's a few little bits up in here. Up in here. Up in here. There is also something creepy. I think it's up here. We'll go find out in a sec. It might not be here, though. It might be somewhere further down. But either way, we're going to have a little bit of a look in a second. ANL118. I was close. I was close. Have we got... Yes, we have. Perfect. Get the... Ah, uh... oh, no. I have no internet at the time of recording this, so... um, That's a pain in the ass. It's a big pain in the ass. I have no internet. It's driving me insane. Um, because currently we can't actually swap providers. Because we're in a new build, uh, the estate here is, is locked into one provider. And I think they've got a contract with that provider for it's two years, I think. Or until so many houses are built. And then other providers can come in. Obviously, if you're in the UK, you'll know Sky, BT, all of that lot. Though None of those guys are here. We've got a company called Fibernest. Which is, <clears throat> the internet's good when it works. I don't really have too many problems. But I do find that when you do have a problem with this internet, with the provider specifically, it's a big problem. It's never out for a half an hour, an hour, and then back on. It's out for a few days. So it's a bloody bore like. But, you know, and it's expensive as well. I used to have Sky TV, and that was £45 or £48. The TV, um, broadband, all that good stuff. But now just for the internet on this place, it's just, it's £45. But when it works, like I said, it's great. I can download a game in a couple of minutes. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. This place is beautiful. I knew we were going in the right direction. Let me just sort my audio out. So I've just whacked the game audio right up because this place is cool. And the noises you can hear here are absolutely insane. It's creepy as hell. Doors opening and closing. And... It just sounds so creepy. It's such a cool place though. I love it here. Some of these things that the team have put in are absolutely phenomenal. Little bits like this. I'd love to see more stuff like this. Sledge gang. 
You've got all the antlers there, and then over here, for some reason, we we have a, just a boat. You can never get in the boat. It's a shame. Yeah, this is a nice little horror area. So if you've never been here before, um, it is just up top here. So you've got ANL one one eight Farella, which is in the marshlands region, and they're just above it. Literally, you come out of it and go first up the hill, and just keep going in a straight line, and you come across it. It's a cool little place. Very cool place. One of my favourite little bits that they added. It was never in there originally. You've also got the stairs as well, which is a cool place. Um, I'm going to do... Well, I'm thinking of doing another little video just showcasing some of the horror and the scarier places in-game. I've done, like, Easter eggs and stuff, but I've never really looked at the scary stuff in-game. So it could definitely be something we look into. Right, normal Artillery Base. Or FOA4, as it's otherwise known. It looks relatively quiet though, normally this place is pumping. So that's a, another downside of uh, how it is now, compared to what it was originally. But ev everywhere that you come like this would just be overcrowded with machines and your ass would get wiped. Not in a good way. I mean, it, they're not cleaning it off, they're, they're wiping it on. You know what I mean? It's, it's not a good sight. It don't feel good. There's nothing. Nada. Zilch. There's normally loads of machines. Weird. Hopefully we've got a big chunk over at the uh, the artillery base. Um, I d I'm, I'm assuming that most people that follow the channel have, uh, have seen FOA4. But just in case you haven't, we'll go in and have a little bit of a look around anyway. It is a great place for loot. Specifically explosives. So many explosives here. It's beautiful. You can even find yourself um, the good old uh, Pontus, which is the Magnus. It's a beast. I, I don't know. I enjoy it for all of like 30 seconds. What's everybody else's views on the on the Magnus? I enjoy it for like 30 seconds and then I'm, I'm bored of it and I don't like it. It's a good gun. It's got a, it packs a punch, but it's just sluggish. So I remember as well when the game first launched this was all closed off you could never get in here now this is what i use for uh, any any new weapons this is where we go to test them is this a test facility right that's i think it fits the bill good place to go is it still here yeah it is there it is and it is the magnus i don't know what quality it is actually we'll have a look in a sec pretty sure it's only a three possibly a two. Oh no it's a five huh Nice, I didn't know it was a five crown. Beautiful, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen, you want to know where you get the five crown Magnus? If you've never been here before, it is right at the top here, just by the Nor Normia Artillery Base. So follow it up to the FOA4, top of the test site, and it's just in this little hut. Nice, so we're just doing more of a show and tell episode today, we've not really shot much. And then in here is, uh, is all the fun stuff. When you come over here, we've got meds, explosives, like I said, great place for loot. Absolutely brilliant. It's nice coming back here after after so long. Because now now once you've been here once, all this um the boxes stay, but obviously the rest of the stuff never comes back. That's a bit of a shame really. It'd be good if um random items like this did come back. And we are here, so it would be rude not to. Let's go jump on the uh, the assault course. And we got to do it, right? It'd be rude if we didn't. I'd be angry at myself if we didn't. Come on. Come on. <gasps> here it is. The Generation Zero Assault Course. Now, this bad boy is just up here. Like I said, a little bit further from the artillery base. The artillery base is down there in the marshlands region. And then you come up here, you've got the normally up my, 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 my military obstacle course. Consists of the little tire things, the bags, which you can... Shoot. And they, they don't really do much, but you can run through them. And you know, ha, 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 ha. Go, go, go. And then you've got the tires. I mean, we can, we can jump over the tires, so it's, it's not too bad. Duck. Dav. Dodge and dip. Oh, we gotta go right under. 
Balls to it. I ain't climbing over them. Let's just go straight under. Got this, you fool. Up we go, up we go. Huh. Can we do the logs? I've never been able to do these. I always fall off. I'm, I can't even get on one. I, I'm, gi I'm giving up. Nope. We've got to go over the other side of the trellis. Bish, bash, bosh. We've got this little obstacle course here. Ah, oh, wait. Yay, we did it. No, we didn't. Ah! Nah. Terrible. Terrible. That's the Generation Zero obstacle course. Be better better done by someone that's um a little bit more limly bimly than me. Um I'm a chunk. I get stuck on things. Right. We're at the uh sort of mid range now of the marshlands region, so we're pretty damn close to the bunker. The only downside is right along this pathway is a whole host of Russian machines. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of wolves. Uh, definitely a couple of wolves. And I think... There's some lynxes somewhere as well. I don't know where they are, though. I don't know whether the wolves have launched them yet. But we've got some nice little bases, which are good. The bases are cool. There's loads of good stuff in these military camps. If you've not been to these, definitely check them out. Where are they all? Um, I'm going to run up here. Get a nice little vantage point up top. Also, once again, a shite ton of loot. Nice. Keep these guys at bay, no problem. That was a nice little shot through the gap there. I like that. That was, that was beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, the cheeky bugger. He's hiding behind a dead one. Luckily, we're not taking too much damage in here. One was a close one though. Right, they're down. I think there's two more somewhere. Well, we still got our. Ah, there is one. Potentially the last one. Don't know. Oh well, let's go search anyway. Grab ourselves some, some thick loot. AG5, no, you, you can go in the bin, thanks. I know a lot of people love the 556, man, but I just I just can't get to grips with it. I don't like it. Nice. I yeah, no, it's, it's just not my thing. Don't know why. Ah, what have we got? What's our PBG? Three crown. Nice, let's take that four, then. Should just be able to hide in here for a minute. Let's swap that over because. Oh, yeah, that thing's going to be a beast. Nice. Muzzles. No, we don't want muzzles, do we? Not for this one. Oh, really? We've got no. Yeah. Yeah, drill like an IR. Bish, bash, bosh. Nice. Let's go then. Let's head over to our bunker. See if we can get anything out of it. Some more Russians somewhere, but I don't know where. Ah, there's one. Easy with the PVG. Just stand back and watch the carnage uh, unfold. There's no wolves. I could have swore I saw a wolf. Oh well, never mind. More loot that uh, we haven't got to uh, waste on, on shooting them, I suppose. Although the wolves are relatively easy anyway, aren't they? I mean, if... I was hoping when they did drop in, they'd be a bit more more tanky, but they're, they're, not very, they're not very tanky at all, which is a shame. Hopefully, if the new Russian machine is true, um, it is 
quite a beastly old machine and it's like the equivalent of a tank and then the uh the wolf that we've currently got is is like a equivalent of harvester which i think that would be quite cool definitely do with a stronger russian machine not so much more um like power to kill so fps type thing um but you know just a a little bit stronger because the wolves hurt they really do especially when they get their minigun up and running but just taking them down is relatively easy. As long as you're hitting the right spots, you can bring them down like sacks of shit in a matter of, of seconds. Oh, of course there's a bunch of runners in here waiting for me. Better go and die. Oh, dead end. Okay. What about this way? No, we have to go round, I'm guessing. There we go. That was terrible. No more machines? Alright, we've got our key cards. Let's do it. I can hear the ticks from miles away. Okay, at least the first encounter was not as embarrassing as that one. Jesus. Three shotgun shells to kill a tick. To restore power. Where's the power? That end. Alright, cool. Nice. I don't know why I'm trying to kill ticks with the PVG, but it worked. So we'll stick to it. No, we won't. No. Uh uh. I need a big bit of distance between me and a target when I'm using the PVG. I just can't seem to do it. I see some people, like Pontus and Tenebris, they go right up close and just take the sights off. I just can't do it. I'm terrible at it. Hmm. No gas? No, oh, nothing. Okay, relatively quiet. Makes me feel like something's about to go wrong. There we go. Yep, broken generator. Boom. Generator note. Generator broke again. I'm off to auxiliary power room to turn on the backup diesel. Don't touch anything until I'm back. Okay. Um, backup's up top. Okay. You would have thought you'd have the backup. Oh, bollocks. Well, I said that, no, because that's that just defeats the point. Because if your primary gets destroyed or sabotaged, then obviously your backup's next to it, so... Yeah. Hopefully it's not too far. Sorry, I was drinking my tea there. I'm British, you know, I need my tea. That was a really bad British accent, and I'm British. Wow. I'm British, Pontus says. Sprinting disabled. Oh well. Stops me running around like a madman. So what have we got today that we can throw away? We've got you. I still need another shotgun. I've not seen a single decent shotgun. Do you know what? No, I said we'd, um, we'd check out the Pontus, so why not? Why the hell not? Um... The scope can piss right off, though. Well, no enemies here. Nice. 
Nice. And we're going to find and interact with the warboard. Relatively easy. And we'll go out and shoot some stuff with the Pontus. Ah, warboard this way. Warboard this way? Warboard this way, maybe. Yep, that way. Perfect. When you're looking for warboards, just look for the blue, sig uh, blue signs on the walls. It'll take you right to them, so these ones here. And obviously you've got the power symbol for the generators. That wasn't terrible. Nice. Now, removing most of that gives us loads of space. We made it to the warboard, Belter. Look at that. We got some missions in there as well. Perfect. Oh, they did. Yeah, they definitely did. Right, let's bust through this lot then. Easy. The Magnus isn't actually that bad. But this is the thing, I'll use it now and I'll be bored of it in a minute. Jesus, that hurt. Wow! Forgot they could do that. That's a bore like that thing. Right, nice, we're a bit further away this time around. good thing about this thing is it's so accurate, it's insane. God, those trip mines are mental. We should be able to take him down with what we got though. But do you see what I mean with the power that they have? Is is mental. They put out so much damage, but they just cannot take it. It's just definite glass cannon. Oh, bollocks. So we probably won't be able to do him with that, but we will be able to do him. Oh, no, I've got no meds left. Bollocks. Bit quick. Yeah. Oof! That was close. What? <laughs> we died but survived. That's amazing. Right, get back out there. Let's finish off that uh, that wolfy boy, and then we'll call it a day. I think. Oh, you boy. Go mess him up. Let's whack the AP on. Why not? And what a real gun's made of. Don't show me that booty. Go shoot it. Oh, 
Ah, oh, bollocks. Dude. Here's me complaining that they were too easy, and now I'm getting my ass handed to me. Mental. Uh, no, it's fine. We'll just go. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Move. Wrong way. Penis. Where are you, boy? There he is, he's just sat there waiting. Got him! Oh, the mines are all rolling around. That's quite cool. How is he still shocking? Oh, he was down. Oh, he is down. That's strange. No, nothing good. But, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to wrap that one up there. I hope you've enjoyed. I don't know when this will reach you guys, because obviously my internet is down. I am recording it currently for Wednesday. So, hopefully, that stays true. But, that depends on whether the internet is coming back up. I've got stuff pre-uploaded until Tuesday. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, for now... I've been wired, you've been awesome. Subscribe to the channel, drop a like on the video, and if you want to help us out a little bit further, consider becoming a member. We'll see you in the next one.